awesome. <laughs> um, I think that was really the, the big goal all year to try and do that. And, and um, you know, the guys knew that was something that's never been done uh, in case history. And so we really wanted to try and do that. And um, now it's, it's great. And I think it's, you know, it's difficult and kind of scratching and clawing to the last day, but we're really, um, yeah, really happy to be here. So the defensive side of things was great this year. Um, I think all the guys in the back line that played have done phenomenal. I think uh, Brad Winter coming in in goal has been excellent. Um, so I, th I think on that side of things, I think top to bottom from, from starting from the back all the way up through the front, I think the defensive side has been great. And I, I think statistically we're one of the best teams in the country in that respect in, in goals against average. So that's been awesome. I think some of the, the passing and the build-up play has been great at times as well. And I think just it, it occasionally, um, you know, through October a little bit, just struggling to get the final piece and get the ball in the back of the net. But I think overall there's been a lot of good things, a lot of talented new guys coming into the program that I think still even haven't featured a lot, but I think are going to be really exciting guys coming up. Um, so overall, a lot of positives um, and just a lot of exciting things going on. Matt's been incredible. Um, he's a really good player. I think he does um, a lot of things even beyond the box score, but he's, um, you know, he's the hardest working kid. He's the fittest kid. He's as much as he's a great attacking player. He works his butt off defensively and creates a lot from that respect. And, you know, that's how we scored the goal against Carnegie Mellon this weekend as he picked up the ball defensively in the transition really quick and he scored. Um, so, yeah, he's excellent, um, really dynamic, even if he doesn't score or create an assist, like he creates a ton just off the dribble and, and what he can do 1v1 and stuff. So um, he's been awesome. I think, yeah, just overall team wise, I think there's been a lot of good things attacking wise. And um, a lot of times we find ourselves like getting in good situations, arriving around the other team's box. and. I think at times it's just been like the decision making or the quality of the last pass or just or just finishing. Um, but uh, but I think at the end of the day, what you wanted to you know what you want to do is be creating chances and be in that area. And so I think that's at least a big positive that the guys are playing through teams, building up from back to front really well. And I think it's you know if we can keep getting some goals, I think that's a you know definitely a big good sign for us. The pod is really strong, um, really, really strong. All the teams are, are very good, um, really good records. And I guess that's what you'd expect this time of year. But um, yeah, I know like Cortland went, I believe the Sweet 16 last year. I think they've done that in back-to-back -back years. They've got a really strong group, some older guys, some some transfer guys, you know, from, from big time school. So they're super talented. Hobart um, as well in their own right is extremely talented and extremely dangerous and is really just kind of caught fire on the back half of the year and just getting win after win after win. So we'll have our hands full for sure in the first round with that game and it's going to be extremely difficult and we're just looking to put our best foot forward and um, again try to defend well and keep trying to create chances and score like we've done in the last couple of games and, and see what happens. If it's going to be, you know, we're going to get the second weekend, I think it's um, it's going to be we're going to need to play really well defensively again and, and kind of do the things that we've tried to do well all year. Um, I think it's going to it's going to have to be like a gutsy second day performance. We've had injuries and a lot of guys like the last few weeks like that don't practice during the week and just get healthy enough to feature in the game and then take a beating and then have to take off training again. So I think kind of, you know, keeping it together, it's going to be a lot of grit, a lot of mentality. And I think just the full squad too, like I think part of our success is we have really good guys in the team that push the group forward, that train hard, that maybe don't even play at times in games, but that are for the team. And I think that's a huge thing, just having a united group to get through such a difficult weekend. So I think those are the things we'll need to do. And again, it's going to be a challenge, but um, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens.